Religion can help to adjudicate scientific theories. In cases in which two scientific theories are empirically equivalent, uh, metaphysical concerns, including religious concerns, come into play. An excellent example is the special theory of relativity. There are two ways to interpret uh, the mathematics of special relativity. On Einstein's interpretation, there is no absolute now in the world. Rather, what is now is relative to different observers in motion. But on Lorentz's interpretation, there is an absolute now in the world, but we just can't be sure which events in the world are happening now because motion affects our measuring instruments. These two interpretations are empirically equivalent. But I want to argue that if God exists, then Lorentz was right. Craig's argument. He welcomes the scientific theory of the Big Bang because that means that uh, for him, the universe had a beginning. I will make another video about that later. <clears throat> so he accepts the theory of the Big Bang. Foundational to Einstein's approach was his denial of absolute space and his consequent redefinition of time and simultaneity so as to deny their absolute status as well. What Einstein did, in effect, was to shave away Newton's metaphysical time and space, and along with them, the ether, thus leaving behind only their sensible measures, so that physical time became the only time there is, and physical space the only space there is. Since these are relativized to reference frames or inertial frames, one ends up with the relative, relativity of simultaneity and of length. Well, what justification did Einstein have for so radical a move? How did he know that metaphysical space and time do not exist? The answer, in a word, is positivism. But for the theory of Big Bang, you need the theory of relativity. It's at the basis of it. But because the theory of relativity does away with absolute time, absolute uh, uh, space, and the notion of simultaneity, they are meaningless. He can't have that if he is to say that God exists. So, in that video, I will put a link down there. He states that the theory of relativity by Einstein is wrong. He says that at the basis of it is positivism and verificationism. They are wrong. So the theory of relativity is wrong because it uh, renders absolute time meaningless. In order to save face, at the end, he states that Lawrence Poincaré's uh, relativity theory, which is different from Einstein's, is correct, but <laughs> He, he is not right because in that theory the ether is kept. And, but that's not true. The advances in science have shown that the ether does not exist. So he <coughs> considers the theory of the Big Bang correct. In order to have it, you need the theory of relativity. But because of absolute time, the has to consider the theory of relativity wrong. For the Big Bang theory, it has to be right, but for <clears throat> keeping Newton's absolute time, it is wrong. So which is it? Is it right or wrong? Make up your mind. Bye.